Yo, what is good? All right. Ahlan wa sahlan bikum and welcome to my kitchen and sahthan. I'm sounding very excited because this is the first time you're in my my new kitchen, my kitchen. If you haven't noticed, I have been bouncing between many different kitchens the past couple of years. I am now in this space and I will be in this space for a long time and I'm very happy about it. So, welcome. I thought that we would start back today with something very simple but I call everything addictive, but like it really is. It's a very simple one pot rice that uses lots of beautiful greens and herbs to cook the rice. You end up getting this herby green, very, very flavorful rice that has a nice color and then also just is packed with so much flavor. And every time I make it, people are like impressed by it, but it's one of the easiest things to do. We're actually gonna cook the rice with greens. I am going to blend greens and that water together and then it's all gonna so I have a lot of very, very beautiful spinach. This is local spinach. I'm very excited to be able to get farm fresh things now. It's finally that season. I would say this is a really good dish to make if you, I don't know, I don't have kids, but if you have really picky kids and don't like to eat their vegetables, this rice is just really delicious and you can put a ton of greens in it. And then I also have a good amount of parsley. Very, very healthy. It's got tons of antioxidants. You eat lots of parsley. It's just really good overall for your body and your blood. A little bit of an herby flavor, but it is gonna be very, very spinachy. Whoop! So all of this is gonna reduce down a ton and keep in mind that these greens do have a little bit of water in them. If I have a cup of rice, I would cook that in about two cups of water. I'm measuring out two cups of water. All right, so I was able to get most of it, but not all of it. My favorite part of this, and I think what makes it so very, very delicious is, are we surprised? Garlic, so much garlic. How much garlic? The limit does not exist. I usually put like two to four cloves in here, depending on who I'm cooking for, honestly. I just put them in whole because they're all gonna get completely blended up. Squish it down and we're just gonna blend this up. Look how pretty that color is. I just love it. If you wanted to do like, I don't know, like carrot rice or something, you could roast carrots and then blend them up and do exactly what I'm doing right now. You just wanna account for the fact that there is water in these greens too. I have my washed rice. I'm gonna add my spinachy water into it. Oh my God, wow, that smells good. More of my water. And then I always add a little drizzle of olive oil, a pinch of salt, because this does end up needing salt this rice and just cook it how you would cook any rice bring it to a boil and then let it simmer super super low that's really all you need to do i'll see you in about 20 25 minutes when this rice is cooked it smells amazing in here it's been about a half hour i've stirred it through once or twice halfway through and wow so let's let's go get it ta -ta 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 -ta. Ooh, wow so the greens separated a bit during the process, but all you have to do is just stir them through. This is so nourishing because it just has so many greens in it. Wow, that's so good. It's so comforting. It feels so wholesome and comforting to eat this. And it's really, it's just rice, but it's so spinachy and smooth and like all you get is the texture of rice I honestly could probably eat this whole thing oh yes and the garlic yes and it's great as a leftover as well you can save this in the fridge and then just saute it up as like a fried rice kind of situation and it'll get crispy it's excellent as always alf alf sahtan thank you for being here and i will see you in the next one very very soon Stop eating it. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. It's funny. Eat your heart out. You come eat. Come okay, here. It's cute. I like that. Oh my god. Right? <laughs> this is creamy without the cream. It doesn't have. It's because it's just because you like blended it and cooked it with the rice, but it is it is like creamy. Yeah. Like spinach blended. I don't know what it is about the flavor or the way that it blends, but I feel like it, it gives that like cream yeah. vibe. Maybe Do you know what I mean? I don't really know how to describe it. <laughs> like, it's something with like the the fiber breaking down. Yes. I don't know. Maybe. It's for mommy. Somebody on the internet's gonna be like, 
you call everything umami. You know what? Um, a lot of things are umami. That quality of like, mm. like cheese is very umami. Oh. Roasted tomatoes are umami. Someone on the internet said that roasted tomatoes weren't umami. You're literally wrong. A chef said it was on Top Chef. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Yeah, let's take a photo of this. Let's, let's take a photo it. so we can just keep eating it. I feel like this is a thing you could feed to kids and they would be like happy with it. It's so baby foody. It is very baby foody. Right? <laughs>